So here's the take home message. Sex differences in behavior are quite real, but they tend to be much more subtle statistically than the Mars Venus idea. And every sex difference we look at is a lot smaller in children. And so that tells us that there is, to some degree, a, a role of cultural learning in, in uh, creating the difference between men and women. There really is no such thing as a male brain or female brain. I teach neuroanatomy to medical students. We pull brains out of formaldehyde buckets all the time. I got to get do this on Wednesday morning. And um, I can tell you, you can't tell whether it's a male brain or female brain. There's nothing about the structure that's different. Um, however, there are differences at the microscopic level, and these tend to be uh, on this, what we would call statistical, not categorical. None of the differences define male and female as differently as genitalia or chromosomes, for example. 